I was so surprised on Wednesday. I got an email from Uber talking about just call on your phone and request a ride. You don't even need to use the app. Well, I had to call and find out more. So I called them twice today. Driver safety is such an important topic that really isn't covered very much. But I'll tell you what, as a food delivery driver and former rideshare driver, I care about my own safety and I care about my passenger's safety as well. So I called them today and look, their number is 1-833-873-8237 and it's good for California, Arizona, and Florida. Why don't you give them a call too and ask them some questions? So I'll play the video next of me calling them and obviously I'm not gonna share their voice because California is a two-party consent state but you'll get the idea. And my main focus was on safety. All right, so let's make a phone call on this uh, anonymous phone. Pipeline. Press one to continue in English or press two for... I'll go with English. Um, what if I'm new and I don't have an ID or credit card? Can I use um, like, you know, there's gift cards or a prepaid credit card? Okay, because um, I just was concerned about my credit history. Um, what about, do you need an ID? Okay, thank you. Oh, and then if I wanted to tip the driver, do I do that? Is it at one time when I place the ride or do I just give them cash? Okay. And then, you know, I've heard stories in the news like drivers getting carjacked and, you know, all sorts of terrible things. How, how, uh, how does that affect like the driver safety? Uber's call to ride line. Yes, my name is Russ. Um, I wanted to ask a few questions first because um, I don't, I try to stick with cash and I'm concerned about safety. So how, how safe okay. is it to do the, the rides? Okay. Um, do I need an ID to ride? Okay, now it just seems new to me, so that's that's what I was concerned about. Um, can I use, oh, can I use, you know how like, um, if you go to the store, you have the prepaid cards, can I use those to pay? Oh, so it would work, though. In both calls, I asked if I need an ID to ride. How can I pay? You know, if my credit history is bad, can I use cash? Can I use a prepaid gift card or one of those prepaid credit cards that you can shop online? And you can see that I got a mixed response. Whenever I asked about safety, the customer service rep just focused on drivers' uh, background checks and things like that. and and if the driver's uncomfortable, they can cancel the ride. They weren't actually talking about what I was asking, just looking at my different Instacart orders here. The reason this is so concerning, back in April of 2021, Uber made that statement that they are gonna start enforcing rider ID. And in the app, they wanted the rider to scan the front and back of their driver's license. April of 21, we're going on almost two years now. So this is concerning if Uber's gonna do this kind of call in for a ride without the app, what does that say about their focus on safety for drivers and riders? That doesn't show much integrity in my opinion. It looks like they're trying to get 
any way possible to make money. And I've seen this in food delivery. You know, they're doing all sorts of variations of anything to do to get a cut of any food delivery services, um, transportation with riders, and this is another example of that. So let me encourage you, why don't you call them and ask some questions as well about safety. The number is 1-833-873-8237. Up next, I have a video on the dangers of distracted driving. So yes, as drivers, we want to be safe. And there's two things in that video, what the companies can do and what you can do as a driver. My name is Russ. I do thank you for watching this video. Please call Uber and share your feedback with them as well. And oh, don't forget to like the video and channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.